receiving spiritual knowledge from nothing. You can do it too. Welcome to Spirita Vivo. Where did all the sages and spiritual scholars learn about the laws of the universe, like the law of attraction? They often come to the same conclusions in their research and studies, although they lived in different epochs. Where does this wisdom come from? And do I also have the opportunity to tap into this knowledge creatively to improve my life? Could you imagine we are also spiritual scholars, sages, you and me too? Each of us carries within us the possibility of receiving the infinite knowledge and omniscient wisdom of a Buddha, Jesus Christ, Muhammad, Lao Tzu, Confucius, Rumi, and other scholars and sages by surrendering to the creative source and asking for reception according to one method among many others that we want to discuss in today's podcast. We naturally ask ourselves where did the scholars and sages get this knowledge? Is it inspiration? Signs from the highest authority? Let's look at our everyday life. You do your tasks and have your routines. You have a question or problem of whatever kind and are naturally looking for a solution. We often don't find a solution to the problem immediately and postpone dealing with it again until later, for example, because it is not so urgent and we may have more important things to do now. At that moment, we have, in a way, planted a seed in our subconscious, which means that our subconscious inevitably deals with this question by finding a solution to the problem. And then, while you are no longer dealing with this matter, you may be doing another important matter, or even pursuing a relatively trivial matter. For example, going for a walk, working in the garden, or doing housework. Then suddenly, the answer to the question appears as the solution to the problem simply in your consciousness. It can also be that, for example, the inner voice suddenly starts to explain something to you. It can also happen that you may have a dream trying to explain something to you. However, each of us is capable of realizing this. It brings us to the interesting question. Where do they get all the knowledge from all these scholars and sages, all these spiritual authors who wrote the books? If you look closely before some of these centuries, old books were written, there was no literature on the subject where you could easily read about it. How, for example, could the famous Stoic philosopher Marcus Aurelius, who lived from 121 to 180, come to such comprehensive insights into the nature of the world and the nature of human beings that are still relevant today. After all, there were no books or even the internet in which he could read about the knowledge of religious leaders and other scholars. How could these sages come to all these realizations? All the information is already there. This information exists in the universe. The universe embodies the infinite knowledge of all that was, is, and ever will be. So since you and I, we are all part of the universe, you can find this information within yourself. You can find this information in nature. You can find it everywhere. Everything is already there. You must allow yourself to receive this information and reach a certain level of spiritual openness. The famous author and philosopher Vadim Zeland, in his book Transurfing, has provided a precise plan for receiving this knowledge, which he calls spiritual downloads. In his book, Zeland describes how we influence our reality through our thoughts and emotions, and how we can influence them to improve our lives. He argues that our consciousness is a type of energy, and that by focusing our thoughts and emotions, we create a type of magnetism that attracts us to certain life experiences and events. Imagine all your focused thoughts are a magnet that attracts something that matches your thoughts and emotions. In Vadim Zelen's concept of receiving spiritual downloads, there are still two essential things that have to be fulfilled. For one thing, you must have a certain basic knowledge of the subject, that is, have internalized certain concepts. What does Vadim Zelen mean by that? He's saying it depends on the type of spiritual experience or practice. For example, when it comes to meditation, the basic knowledge might include understanding the basic techniques and methods of meditation. 
when working with energy fields, the basic knowledge could be understanding the chakras and their functions, to name just two examples. So one or the other concept must already exist in your mind. Otherwise, you will not understand the spiritual information, the downloads. You can think of it like this. You have many concepts in your head that are connected in certain ways. Then when you receive a spiritual download, it ties into one or more of those concepts, and a new picture emerges, and you begin to understand something new. But for that, it's just important that you already have the concepts you need to understand the whole thing. Otherwise, you don't understand the information. How to achieve this? By dealing with spirituality and informing yourself, constantly educating yourself. A fundamental interest should therefore be present. It's difficult to say what degree is necessary because it's different for everyone. But everyone can reach this level. Otherwise, you cannot interpret the dream or what the voice in your head is trying to explain to you. And the second thing you have to accomplish, and that's what most people fail to do, is to allow yourself to be a master, to have a right to be a master. Of course, we are all students, but we are not pure consumers. We are also creators at the same time masters. We are students and masters at once, and we must also allow ourselves to believe the ideas, inspiration, and so on that we receive and manifest in the real world. Because even if you have an idea and can interpret it and understand it, if you discredit it because you think nobody on the outside has confirmed that to me, then you will never have the courage. You will never dare wear it out and you will think badly about it. You have very likely had many brilliant ideas, insights, and so on in your life, but because no one on the outside has confirmed it to you, you have pushed the whole thing aside and continue to look for the answers in books or videos. You already have all the answers within yourself. You have to accept them and have enough trust in yourself and the universe then you will also be able to receive this information, interpret it correctly and convey it to the outside world and help other people with your insights. And if we look at the book Transurfing by Vadim Zalin, for example, then we see that exactly these two aspects are fulfilled in him. Vadim Zeeland used to be a quantum physicist, which means he already had a basic knowledge of quantum physics. At some point, a dream appeared to him, and this dream then explained the laws of reality to him. Based on quantum physics, he understood and interpreted the whole thing. If he hadn't had that basic knowledge, he might have been like, okay, what a weird dream, and he couldn't have pulled the information out of there. Secondly, he felt that this information was important and allowed himself to be right, to put it out there and write this book. As I said, he would have put this information in a bad light if he had not had self-confidence. As many people do, many of us develop brilliant ideas regularly, but we discredit that information because we don't have enough trust. This information can come to you in very different ways. For example, if you observe something, you ask yourself a question, and that observation or that question plants the seed in the subconscious and the subconscious then takes care of answering that question or that to explain what you observed and then seemingly out of nowhere the answer appears another example that illustrates the idea of spiritual downloads is this Let's imagine that a person has been dealing with creativity for a long time and has already studied various concepts and techniques. One day, the person sees a work of art that impresses him greatly and wonders how the artist created this work. By asking this question and focusing on the artwork, he activates his subconscious and challenges it to provide him with information on being more creative. It can even happen without him thinking about it directly. 
In the next few days or weeks, he may suddenly come up with ideas he had never considered before or find solutions to creative problems he couldn't solve. These ideas and solutions are downloads from his subconscious, which he receives because he already has the basic knowledge and concepts to help him understand and apply the information. Another example of receiving spiritual downloads. Imagine you are a photographer looking for inspiration for a new project. You are outside, and suddenly you see a beautiful sunset. You take out your camera and start taking photos. You suddenly get an idea for your new project as you take photos. You see the motif for your project right in front of you. The sunset. But this idea is not concrete yet. You must work out a few details. You go home and sit at the computer to edit the photos. As you edit the photos, your mind starts generating ideas for your project. It's almost as if your mind works independently without you actively thinking about it. Immediately, you have the perfect idea for your project. It's exactly what you were looking for. You wonder where this idea came from because you haven't actively thought about it. The answer is that your subconscious was involved in brainstorming. It processed the observations you made and generated an idea for your project. And so everyone will receive spiritual downloads. You need a certain basic knowledge of a topic which you can acquire through books or videos. It would help if you also allowed yourself to be a master, a creator, and believe that information to ourself. Because if you don't allow yourself to do that, that information either won't get there or you'll discredit it. Our conclusion today. Spiritual knowledge is out of nothing, for which the word nothing stands for the higher power, the divine library, the universe. Anyone can tap into this cosmic source and use its knowledge to improve their life. We must keep reminding ourselves that we are in infinite possibilities and that our thoughts and beliefs influence our reality. Be a creator of your reality. If our podcast today inspired you, feel free to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to never miss a new episode. We would appreciate it very much. Thank you, and see you soon on our channel.